Alonzo asked me to tell him about some of the things that happened on my journey. I see. Ah, I see. Very intriguing. So an external force protects the candidates. For outsiders like myself, it's rather difficult to get a hold of accurate information pertaining to the royal magic and the tournament for the throne. Information's quite the weapon, you know. All the more reason meeting you has been such a boon. Understand? In fact, if you really wanted to take down the other candidates, the most effective method would be investigating their families and homes for info you can use. Quite effective against blackguards who hide their misdeeds, naturally, but outstandingly so against good, upstanding family folk. That's... You don't mean to threaten them, do you? But of course. Ha! I know it's not in your nature, but still, not every weapon has a pointed in. A villain will always strike where it hurts most, like snakes, and those I associate with are usually the most venomous kind. Hmm? Speak of the devil. Here comes one such associate now. Oi. How's the client situation looking? Yeah. We've 20 at present. No delays securing their contracts. Arrangements have been made should any default on payments. Huh. Ah, so you're not all talk. You know, my lord may have taken a shine to you, but let me make something clear. One false move, and I promise I will flay you alive myself. Understand, Cuculus? Mmm, Cuculus, that's one of his marks, then. Ridiculous. He's an underling of the landowner I'm working with. He's exceedingly cautious, as you might expect, and for some reason, he still doesn't trust me. Can't blame him, really, said landowner is my true target. He's a foul one. He's been trying to take advantage of the struggle for the throne and had a huge fortune. <sighs> Ambitious sorts all over the country are using the tournament to rise up in the world, and this landowner is their lender, turning tidy profits. I am his middleman. <laughs> of course, the landowner only lends because he knows he'll collect, so when he realizes he can't, why, that's an awful lot of money to disappear into the void. What? And that's your plan all along, isn't it? Now then. Ha! I'll spare you the details, but the man's money will end up in my coffers eventually. It's a curious thing. People are never more vulnerable to tricks than when they think they're playing one themselves. <laughs> when all's said and done, it'll be his loss and my gain. And I do mean gain. Enough to buy a small village, really. Well, that's an interesting plan. <laughs> ha! Maybe there's a future for you in this line of work yet. Oi. Oi, Alonzo. Yes. Don't worry, he has my confidence. Listen. That flunky you talked to earlier, he's snooping around the village. What? what? Hey! I gave him the slip before he saw me, but this is bad, Alonzo. If they find out how you're connected to the village, then... No. My hometown or not, there's no way they'll catch on to what I'm up to now. He'll turn up nothing and that'll be the end of it. We need to relax. Yeah. All the same, you should pack your things in case things go south. I'll bring you the money to stash soon. That lackey of his, I hadn't expected him to move so quickly, even went as far as digging up my roots. Um, Are you gonna be okay? You. If push comes to shove, I may end up needing your help. Your muscle, that is. I... I'm trying to buy my hometown with the money I'm bilking from the landowner. He's the one who's bleeding my village dry to begin with. Hmm. I've gotta make this piece of my deception succeed at all costs. It would save the whole poverty-stricken village. Hey. When are you free? How about you come check on the village with me? I've got a strange nagging feeling about all this. Yeah, okay. Leave it to me. Sure, I'll go. Thank you, truly. Yes, of course. Thank you, I owe you one. Genuine gratitude. Let's go. This is only rank two, right? Yeah. Mother, please be safe. Oh, something about his mom. Okay. My hometown's a small village. It's nearby, in fact. If it were up to me, we'd head there straight away. Alas, I know you have a schedule of your own. Even so, I implore you, please do not delay for long. I'll be waiting. Honestly, I want to rank up Bard in at least once before we go, Time like, dungeon on, hunting. And the so, age of a new king draws nearer. If we can immediately hang out with Alonzo again to get him to rank three, I'll do it. Somehow. Word is a great number of the city's soldiers have been injured. It would seem they had a run-in with a human. The group that was attacked was comprised mainly of new recruits out on a training exercise. Many of their injuries are quite grave, I'm afraid. How horrible. Is there nothing we can do to help? That reminds me. We've already taken on a related request, haven't we? Let's go gather the medicinal ingredients. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Just trying to rank up some of my followers first so that I get all these bonuses before we get moving. Do Calm down. Know? The day after tomorrow is Forgiveness Day, where stores throughout the city have the biggest sales of the year. I can't wait. 
the day after tomorrow. So we should wait for that big sale, and then after we buy a bunch of stuff during that sale day, then we'll go on the Gauntlet Runner and do missions. <sighs> That sounds like a good plan to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't hang out with Maria. I don't think we're gonna be able to hang out with Maria for a while because we have to get a new drawing from Neurus for it, right? So we have to like be traveling again. Well, we're just gonna go rank up Barden. He's the only one we really have access to right now. Get that commander up. What's up, dude? What? It's you. How fare are ye in your travels for you to be in Martyr of all places? Ah, oh, but I shouldn't pry. I'm sure you've some urgent business or another, and I shan't make you tardy for it. Have ye a moment? There's a matter I'd like to discuss with you. Like what? Thank you. Many thanks to ye for being so kind. Meself, I just seem to get lost thinking about it. The truth is... I wanted to consult with ye on all this blether about picking a new ruler for the town. Of course, ruler isn't quite the word. Wouldn't own land like a lord or anything, but still, it's a right important position. For establishing a town governor, which is distinct from a lord, I think that's what's best for this town. So... For the most part, the townspeople agree on self-governance, as there's quite a lot of distrust of power after what happened with Lady Joanna. It may seem like the townspeople are turning to extreme courses of action, but the new lord did allow us our self-government. Hmm. Which is all well and good, but here's the rub. I think the fellow best suited for the position is this one clergyman. He's a fine man, and he likes the idea. <sighs> but darn it all, now everyone is clamoring for me to be governor. Well, You're just that popular, Barden. Nay. And I'm pleased to hear it, but it's just because I'm captain of the guard. Still, though. I've been put on a pedestal as some noble knight who put everything to right. It's Dretch. I'm no hero. It was all thanks to the lot of ye. But I could say that all day and they'd still want me as governor. <sighs> Everyone wants to feel safe. They want to know there's someone nearby they can rely on. I sympathize with that, but I'm no ruler. What is this camera angle? <laughs> Do you like the press turns in metaphor or not? I prefer them over turn-based combat. Um, I like it. I just don't like the miss mechanic. I don't like how miss and repel and drain like end your turn. If they got rid of that, if they got rid of the miss thing costing like two turn icons and like repel and null just turning off your turn entirely, then I'd be super down with press turns. I still like it overall. I like the way it works and how you get more turns and how like the ordering works. It's a cool mechanic. I just really hate the missing thing. Like a lot. Do I have what it takes to lead them? Hey. Everything worth doing is always a challenge. Wait, what? Is it always? Ah, usually. Mm -hmm. I do remember hearing that the closer you get to your breaking point, the greater you become. Yes, and the closer you get to something, the tougher it is to see it. If that's true, we can't become better men without a challenge, can we? Yeah, like iron sharpens iron, my dude. Thank you, friend. Talking with you has helped me come to a decision. Myself. I'll represent the townspeople. Yes, I'll become governor and restore the whole place. I'm not sure if I'm the man for the job, but I'll give it everything I've got for the good of the town. Considering my lack of experience, I'd be grateful if you kept advising me. Don't want your head. I may not have the skills you do, but I will serve faithfully so that I can be a true hero in this town like you. Let's go. I'll do anything for this town I adore. Anything? <laughs> Barden, you finally decide what to do yet? I know you care deeply, but we're all sick of waiting. Don't make me decide I need to lead you. Hey, up. We'll rest easy with you in charge. Those sandworms have been a right pain, but you seem like a take charge kind of man. Don't you worry. Too true. A sandworm attack would devastate Martira. I'll work up some countermeasures. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Don't work too hard now, big man. Well. But go ahead and remove childcare from your job skills, will ya? They hated it when you chased them around during hide and seek. My wee ones were bawling and screaming something awful. They still cry from the memory of it. Whoa. But that's how you play hunter and prey. If they screamed, it was just proof we were playing it right. But anyway, I swear to you, I'm determined to protect this town. Hunter and prey? So. What, what is this hide and explode from Avatar The Last Airbender nonsense? Thanks for your time today. I'll have to do a great deal of work to even begin paying you back, so do stop by again. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I immediately hang out with Alonzo again tonight? Because if I can, I will. <laughs> Back to the Brawlhaven Tavern. Incredulous. No, he is not available right now. Alas. I don't know if it's going to let me rank up Barden to three. Barden, what is your level three gain? We can study general and inheritance goes to two. I wouldn't mind getting you to three before we go on our trip to do a bunch of dungeons. Because we might switch Hulkenberg to commander for a little bit. I'm not too worried about getting you to four. The care package sounds nice, but I'm not like in a rush for it. What do you huh. want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Huh. Well, what stat would be most important right now? We need more courage for Brigida. But we're going to get a lot of courage from all the requests we have. What not? And what not? I think. We get tolerance from doing this thing with Stroll. I should get on that soon. Need to negotiate and retrieve the deed taken as loan collateral. The nobleman creditor might be at the Coliseum and the wharf. Can I go? He was an Ishkia right. guy, right? I saw an Ishkia guy at the wharf. Wait a minute. He was like in the, Let's yeah, go. yeah, yeah, in the Coliseum. He was just standing at the entrance. You. Not merely a low-life urchin, but a grubby little elder besides. I have no words to waste on your kind, out of my sight. Yep. Sounds like we found our pompous Ishkia. I bet this guy's got the deed we're looking for. But he won't even give us a second glance. We'll have to think of something to say to catch his attention. You know me, I trust. Have I seen you before? Ah, you're the candidate who offered up a noble's head at the exhibition. Elder or not, I can respect such sophisticated tactics. Go on, then. I'll hear you out. But as you can imagine, I'll be busy watching the fights. If you have nothing more worthy of my attention, I can't be bothered. What do you do? What's our move? Bring up the deed or try a different topic? Such a tordy arena this is. He likes fighting. He likes watching fights, though. But I, I don't like either of these options. I don't know which one is right. Such a tardy arena, this. I beg your pardon, you would mock these sublime artful fights? I prefer real fights. I see, I suppose you are a candidate. No doubt you've been to many distant lands, fought strange and skillful opponents. I confess I'm intrigued. Might I hear of these adventures? Amazing. Got him on the hook, but what story do we tell him? Ever tasted a giant sandworm? I mean, let's see Ah uh, is basically not... You shouldn't talk about eating a sandworm. We should talk about, like, the humans we fought. I hate the way these dialogue options are listed. I don't think this guy wants to... The only sandworm we fought was the human one that ate us, and then we had to, like, run through its bowels. I don't think he wants to hear about that. Hang on. Hey, this is no time for cold feet. You gotta talk about something really outlandish. I guess I can't think of anything else that would really grab him. Is that all? Come back once you've actually accomplished something worthwhile. If you visit the legendary tower north of the city, for instance. Okay, he wants to hear about... Uh, Alright, yeah. I all will right. return after right. we beat up the... Whatchamacallit over there. Now, I don't think I can get... All right, then. Let's double check and see. Where is the podium? Let's go. Over there. I don't think it's going to let me give a speech at night. I wish it would, though, because I want to get my eloquence up. This is Idol's Day and everything is on sale, but they said that there was a super sale like two days from now, so I'm waiting for that instead to buy stuff. What is... Oh, you're the mag broker. Right, right, right. I hear a voice in my mind. Accumulators, the exchange. The head is as useless as his works. So use them however you see fit. Thanks to merchant rate, the exchange rate for mag is increased. This is... You give mag to get money, right? Rate... One mag equals $4.8. Yeah, I mean, like, I know I have a lot of mag, but I don't need money. Money does not really seem like an object in this game. Dice! You're the elder everyone's been whispering about, aren't you? I enjoyed the performance you gave the Exhibition of the Brave. It was quite the gamble to offer a Sanctorus as your head. Took guts and probably no small amount of skill. 
Seems to me you have a gift for making your own luck and swinging the odds in your favor. Take it from a gambler. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to press that luck of yours? I'm running a special bet on tournament participants right now. Care to take a punt? I'll give it a shot. Wait, are you serious? If you lose money here, who knows how far it'll set us back? I am rich, Galica. Oh, I've set your fairy friend, have I? Can't have that. How about you decide after I've explained, though? It's a bet on the rank of a certain young Elda candidate. That would be you. Your wager is, ha, huh, you know what? How about you pick it yourself? If you're successful, I'll pay you back double. You're betting on yourself to see how well you think you can do in the tournament. Interesting idea, huh? isn't it? Is he serious? What's the catch? What are you thinking? I'll give a shot. Nice one. Besides, if your goal is to be king, you gotta okay. take some risks. Now let's gamble. What rank do you think you can reach by August 13th? The thing with Luis? I don't think I'm making the top five. I'm at 49 right now? August 13th is the soiree. I'll bet 20 to 11. I don't think I'm gonna break the top 10. Excellent. How much are you wagering? Bro, I'll bet 15k. I'm not a coward. Fascinating. With that, the bargain is struck. I'm literally putting my money where my mouth is that money is, like, irrelevant in this game so far. I have had no trouble with money, and I mostly use items for healing. I don't even use skills for healing, really. So, like, even if I totally whiff this and get no money back, it doesn't matter. <laughs> because I'm loaded. Check the results in 18 days, and don't forget, you gotta come back here to collect your money. Alright, interesting. Now what am I to do? Hello, I would like to give a speech. <laughs> Podium, I suppose no one else is using it right now. If you address a crowd here, I bet your eloquence would go up. Okay, so we can do eloquence at night now. There was one time over in Martira, it wouldn't let me do it at night, I thought. But let's get this eloquence up. Oh, Brawlhaven thrives on trade and fishing, but the United Kingdom's structure lets Grand Trad suck up all our earnings. If you're made king, what do you do about this kingdom alliance system? If you're in favor of it, we need to hear why. What should I say to reach the public's hearts? What are they complaining about? They thrive on trade and fishing. The United Kingdom structure lets Grand Trad suck up our earnings. So Grand Trad is getting money that they believe is theirs. I mean, the idea is that it enables the countries to aid each other, right? I would assume. Just trust me. The trade alliance as it exists now allows for mutual aid. No. I like the pluck, but we need the details. Pretty words aren't that what make the world go round. Aye, but think when that storm all but destroyed us, it was Grand Trad's carpenters and soldiers that came to help us. Would have been unthinkable before the Annex War. I managed to win the hearts of the people. I'm a genius, right. chat. Yo, five eloquence? All right, I'm no longer worried about getting our eloquence up. Perfect. And I got money for some reason? Probably donations from people who are like, I like the cut of this guy's jib. Yo, 48. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. I need to make sure that I don't do too well with the people because I don't want to get into the top 10. <laughs> I want to get 11 to 20. That means. Hello. Mm. I want to talk with Mr. I miss him. Oh, we can rank up Maria again already. Okay, this is not the day that is a super sale. They said there was a super sale tomorrow. I think. So, with that in mind, we can't rank up Barden. I, we should just go get Maria to rank 5, honestly. Because I just want to... Ishkia is flying people. Maria is... Uh, she's a, um, a mixed tribe. What is a Roeg, chat? What tribe is that? What, what is their, like, visual identifier? Because every tribe has something, like, physical going on. What is a Roeg? I don't know that one. Clamar are the people with horns like Stroll. I don't remember what the elf people like Hulkenberg are called. Ishkia are birds. Ujif are bats. Grius was rogue. They have markings on the face, but it seems like they do the markings themselves. Maybe it's something with age? So she's supposed to have markings on her face to show that she's a rogue, but she's also part Ishkia because her mother was a bird person. 
which is why she has the angel wings. Okay. Well, let's go get you to rank five. <laughs> 